My name's Catherine Ellis. I'm a yoga instructor as well as a massage therapist. Here's a short video I've put together for FHT's Stay at Home series, where I share with you some tips on how to give a more effective massage with less effort. I run the Central School of Massage, which I set up 10 years ago and is based in Leamington Spa in the Midlands. We run a range of different massage courses, but typically focus on helping therapists who might be struggling with the challenge of their own physical pain, be that pain in their thumbs or hands, shoulders or lower back. We show therapists like you how to work in a different way, how to use your whole body so that you can achieve a long-lasting pain-free massage career, giving treatments your clients will love. I'm going to share with you three fundamental principles that underpin all our courses here at Central School. The first one, how to use your whole body. The second is the benefit of movement. And finally, how counterbalance can be your best friend. I originally came to massage through being a yoga student. At the end of my yoga class, my instructor had invited somebody to come along and demonstrate a form of massage, Thai yoga massage, which I'd never heard of, I'd never seen before. And I was captivated by the very first moment I saw it. What a magical, moving meditation it was. An energetic connection between two people. Well, I wanted to sign up for one of those massages straight away. And sure enough, I did. And it was the best massage I'd ever had. I decided that I had to learn how to do it. Signed up to a weekend course and then signed up to further training and became a Thai massage practitioner. A few years later, that same instructor asked me to run a workshop for him as part of his teacher training program. And I introduced those uh, 10 people to this wonderful form in the same way that I had been and taught them a few techniques. Well, four of them decided straight away that's what they wanted to do as well and asked me if I would teach them how to do it. So I decided to set up Central School of Massage. And 10 years ago, we ran our first practitioner course in Thai massage. Here's a picture of me with Ben, who was one of my students from four years ago, I think it was, doing a classic Thai massage pose. Today, I want to share with you this new approach. Maybe it's uh, completely new to you. Maybe you've heard a little bit about, about it, but I want to show you how this is an amazing form of massage that can help your clients incredibly but also can help you as a therapist. But first of all, I wanted to talk to you about where you may find yourself now as a massage therapist. Maybe you're exhausted at the end of the day and you're in pain, possibly. I know for a lot of people, their shoulders hurt at the end of the day, their back hurts, their hands hurt, their thumbs hurt. And they're very bothered about their posture, always feeling that they could do more with their posture to help themselves, but not quite sure how to go about it. Maybe you've been doing this for a long time, or maybe you've been doing it for just a few months, but it's something that if you can embrace as a, a, the techniques as part of what you're doing, and maybe fundamentally change your approach, you can find a way of continuing doing this form of uh, therapy that you've been doing for a while and to maybe fall back in love with it. Maybe you've lost a little of that, little of that love. Certainly when I share it with therapists and I've trained now hundreds of therapists, generally what I get from them, my first reaction from them is, why haven't I seen this before? Why haven't I learned how to do this before? Wow, this will fundamentally change how I feel, how I work. This is incredible. I'm going to show you three fundamental approaches that's different with Thai massage than it might be for your normal massage. And the first one is how can you use your body effectively? How can you be as efficient as you possibly can be using the minimum amount of effort on your part, but to give the maximum amount of benefit to your client? Yes, there are lots of people out there who are training therapists to use forearms rather than just their hands. Fantastic. 
why stick to just your hands and particularly your fingers or your thumbs. But my thinking, and certainly the Thai massage approach, is why stop at forearms? You can use your elbows. Yeah, that's quite normal for a lot of therapists. But why not use your knees? Why not use your feet? Why not use your shoulder? Why not use your hip? If you can use your whole body to help you in this form of massage, of giving a massage, the effort becomes so much less. Generally, the first question you get asked by somebody who hasn't, doesn't know an awful lot about Thai massage is, is that where they walk on your back? And yes, you can walk on someone's back, although we don't tend to use, do that too much here in the UK. It depends a lot on the size, the relative size between you, the practitioner, and the person who's receiving the massage. But we can certainly use our feet in lots of other ways as well. Here's a great example of how I'm using my feet to apply pressure into Dom's adductors and hamstrings. First, I encourage some movement at his hip by placing one foot on his thigh and extending my leg as I lean forwards. I then allow his leg to come back and place my foot further up his thigh before straightening my leg again. And often the reaction I get from clients is, what on earth's going on there? Because they feel like maybe another therapist has walked into the room. They can't quite believe they've got so many points of contact with the therapist. And so what a wonderful thing this is. It's a nice broad surface to use your feet so it's not too pinchy. It's deep. It's a continuous compression. Feels great. Really allows the client's muscles to relax and let go. And yet all I'm doing once I'm in position is just straightening my leg. It's as easy as that. So the other fundamental technique is movement. And often people associate Thai massage with stretching. And yes, there's a lot of stretching involved, but that's not the only movement we do. So we move our body to enable us to get to, into a better position, to apply the techniques to our clients with the minimal amount of effort. One of the things I love about Thai massage is how we move a client's body into position rather than asking them to move. Here I am having placed Dominic's leg over the front of my knee, here and just easing the knee down towards the floor. I can then give his lower back a bit of a rub. He may be feeling the uh, twist in that place. And then I wanna bring my knee much closer up so I can bring my whole shoulder over his shoulder. So as I place my hand into it, I can just gently lean into his shoulder, increasing the twist for him, just nice and slowly easing into it with very little effort for me. And I pick up his arm and then take my other hand around the back of his shoulder and he's there in sideline position, ready for me to work his glutes, which are pretty handy there. So I can just make myself comfortable, kneel down and place my open elbow into his glutes area and increase the pressure just by closing off my elbow. I'm not actually leaning in anymore. I'm not applying any more work from myself, but there's more pressure as it comes down through a smaller point. Or I could stand up here and place the heel of my uh, foot into his glute med and just gently lean into it an area where there's often a lot of tension for people. And I could lean onto my thigh if I wanted to increase the pressure without any effort for me. Or I could place my knee into that area, elegantly kneeling across him, as you can see. And then just taking my foot away from the floor, closing the gap at the back of my knee to increase the pressure coming into his glutes area. Nice and easy. And then I can just move up towards his shoulder. I kneel down, make myself comfortable again and pick up his arm, as you can see, and place one hand in front of his shoulder and the other behind. And as I move my whole body around, I move his shoulder around. So again, it's very, very easy for me and he can feel the stretch into his neck, into his shoulder, around the back of his shoulder. I've got my fingers there, I can just use them if I want to and just give him a great shoulder and neck massage from this position. 
There are lots of examples of where we move the client and where we move ourselves. This is not a static form of massage. And as a result, because it's not static, we don't get fixed in one position. And that helps an awful lot with our posture and with any pain that we might get towards the end of the day, having given a lot of massages. Usually, when I've been giving Thai massage during the day, I feel as good at the end of the day as I did at the beginning. And that's quite something, isn't it? Maybe after three, four, five hours of massage. And it's a wonderful thing to feel great at the end of the massage. Not only you feel great, uh, your client feels great, but you feel great. So the other fundamental approach is the use of counterbalance. This is where we can use the benefit of gravity to apply a deeper pressure with minimal amount of effort. As you can see here, Dominic is lying on his front with his legs bent and I just step through and bring myself to a seated position, sitting on his feet. What a wonderful thing to do. I'm just sitting down. Fantastic. And just through that sitting down, I'm able to apply some strong, deep pressure down through the feet. So you've got some flexion in the feet and down through the thighs, a wonderful grounding feeling that he gets through the thighs from me just pausing there. And I can then place my hands on his back. Obviously, I can apply a minimal amount of pressure if it's into the lower back or more pressure as I work up the body. And it's very easy for me to work up the body. I just start to lean forwards and his legs take me further forwards. It's a great way to apply a bilateral, symmetrical pressure without me really having to do very much work at all, but him feeling like there's an awful lot going on. And I can just hang in there and allow his tissues just softly adapt to the pressure and to release. So, Thai massage. I believe you get better results for your clients with this form of massage. It's a wonderful way to find out what's really going on in their body. It's a full body massage. And because we put them through lots of different movements, lots of different compressions, explore their full range of movement through their joints, we really start to, it really starts to reveal what's going on in their body. And you might discover something about their body that you hadn't from a regular client, you might not have known before. And that's fascinating. It's also a really, really relaxing form of massage, which kind of is a little counterintuitive because there's a lot of movement involved and you sort of feel, how can they be falling asleep so easily whilst you're moving them around? And yet they have to let go of their body in order for you to be able to move it around and to give the form of massage. And once they do that, then they can really let go and really enjoy it. In terms of your business, you create a really loyal customer base. It's still pretty unusual, Thai massage in this country. And once people have this form of massage, so often this is the massage for them and they don't want to go back to a couch massage or they might occasionally have one. But they tend to stay very loyal to you. As I say, there's not a lot of people doing it, so it's, it's not an easy massage to just go and change therapists. But you, because you make this connection, this energetic connection with them, you really have more than just a client-therapist relationship. It also helps with the longevity of your career by helping you look after your body and really helping you to use your body in, a intelli in an intelligent way, then your body doesn't get worn out, you don't get exhausted, you, it's always really interesting. It's a form of meditation, so you are completely focused on the person and your career should last a long time. But most importantly, it's you. It's how it's beneficial to you as an individual. It's an energizing form of treatment. And because there's a lot of counterbalance going on, you end up stretching your body as much as stretching theirs. And here's a really great example of me with Paula, who was one of my students from my first group back in 2010. And 
Here we are at the end of the massage. She's getting a wonderful forward fold, assisted forward fold. And I'm getting a wonderful stretch for the front of my body after the, at the end of a massage where I can just relax back really doing nothing other than enjoying the stretch but she feels like I'm working hard and helping her to get deeper into her stretch. We run a number of different courses at Central School. If you're just intrigued to find out a little bit more we run regular workshops through the year. These are just half day workshops and it gives you a real flavour of what Thai massage is about and also gives you an idea of whether this is something for you. It's a fun day so what's to lose and lots of my students come to learn the full practitioner course from doing the workshop. It's a great way to find out whether you like it or not. And then of course we run our full certificate training programme which is a six day course which requires quite a large commitment from you, the therapist. There's lots of case studies and there's a lot to learn in those six days. But I've been teaching it a long time and I've hopefully got a way to share that with you in a way that's easy to learn. Certainly, I get fantastic therapists as I, I look around the room watching them towards the end of the course. They really, really get the whole idea of Thai massage and have fantastic techniques. And we run those certificate courses twice a year. They're fully accredited by FHT if you're a therapist already. And they are a six day course followed by an assessment day after you've done all your case studies. And we, if you check the website, you'll find out when the next course is running. And after that, there's the opportunity to learn more I really believe it's great to learn the fundamentals, the basics, a really good routine first, really get that under your belt and introduce it to your clients, find, um, create a successful career with it. And then at that point, if you want to, you can learn some more approaches, some more techniques. We run a, different, a number of different other courses as well. Um, we also, on the Thai massage front, we run a Thai massage for the couch, table Thai. This can be a standalone treatment, or you can incorporate some of the moves into your existing massage routines. Even though the client is on the couch rather than on the floor, we can still use many of the same techniques, but adapt them slightly to stay true to the three fundamental approaches. This is a particularly useful course for any of you who might have issues with your knees and struggle to move around the floor. Or you don't think you've got the equipment or the room to have anything more than just a couch. So to recap, here are the three fundamentals that can really help you as a massage therapist. First one, use your body. Second one, introduce some movement into your treatment. And third one, Counterbalance is your best friend. Finally, remember to stay safe at this time and look after yourself. As therapists, we love to spend time with people. That's why we do what we do. And things will get back to normal eventually. So thank you for listening. And just to say that we have a lot of fun on the courses. I keep the courses small, never more than six to eight people and I um, teach them in my log cabin in the garden where in the summer we can have the doors open and enjoy the sunshine and in the winter the underfloor heating is on so we can stay cosy. I love teaching massage therapists. You're always a joy to be around and I'm really looking forward to the end of lockdown. But in the meantime, here's a little something that celebrates the fun we usually have on our courses. See you soon.